Welcome back to what, what's your what's your uh, what's your X Men lore knowledge? We say medium to low on average. I say, say medium high? medium to low. Welcome back to two dudes with medium to low lore knowledge of X Men review X Men ninety seven episode number two. I'm Jamie. I'm JD. And we uh, it's, it's been a long time. It's been ages since we reviewed episode one, but here we are now about to watch episode two and give you a, give you a little reaction to it. Episode one was uh, it's pretty good. It piqued my interest. The end of it, Magneto's the head honcho now of the whole school, which is, honestly, I couldn't even guess what was going to happen. I thought I was just going to show all the characters, like, here's the powers, the group's back together, Xavier's dead, and now they're just going to figure stuff out. But, uh, no, we got, we got like, the Mega Mega Man main bad guy now. Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed the first episode. And, uh, again, I have seen through episode five, um, but with my memory, like, I'm experiencing this a lot for the first time again though with you like through your eyes so that's kind of cool um but yeah i'm i'm ready to get started with the second one i want to see it let's see it all right here we go magneto actually looks sick right there i like that yeah outfit. do you think you can play us on guitar i could learn it you should learn it i i actually plan to use some of my time off to like make some custom music for the channel. Oh, that'd be cool. D and D games. And I'm gonna make an awesome like 3D, like camera hovering over the ocean intro for our Salt Marsh campaign and stuff. I like it. Yeah. Was Damn, that a, what the fucking lightsaber? That goddamn lightsaber. What was that shit? <laughs> ah! That wasn't there last time, was it? And we were paying Ooh. attention. That was Mr. Sinister. That was the guy who mind controlled more. Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister. Of the Essex Corporation. Oh. I love that they kept, like, kind of the awkward run into each other. <laughs> the 90s run. They kept just enough of, like, it still has that nostalgic feel. How did this thing pass inspection? What happened here? That's right, kids. Don't ride carnival rides. You're seeing one. They always break. They're not safe. Oh, but the fire lady's got them. Magneto? Yeah, who that? Oh, that might be Ma Is it Magneto? Is he a hero right now? That's some metal. Saving humans? Dude, just the but cold walk away. To tell how recent Fly away. Will impact mutant human relations. Did the professor not trust me? Maybe we're seeing this. That's wrong. what you're worried about? Maybe yeah, maybe I guess he's. Well, I don't know. Like Magneto was always their like Across arch enemy, the globe, though. Are in. That'd be like me passing away year. and being like I'm and giving all of Cloak and Stagger to the Dick Butts. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on that. Here lurking, Street Fighter. <laughs> Why all the bad guys got ripped sleeves? That's just. That's how they come from the fact from the villain factory. Your arm cannons don't mean shit. Master of magnetism. Yeah, shut up. Maybe we should take a page from the professor's playbook and give Eric a second shot. Let's give him a chance. I have arranged for the Morlocks to travel to the mutant nation of the Warlocks. It the Morlocks. Oh, he said Morlocks. Yeah. Or Xavier himself thought to use his considerable finances, Charles Xavier's dream of mutant human coexistence. Okay. Prove that sounded it. like it hurt to Let say. Machines scan your mind. See your real plans. Yeah. God. No. What? You did it with Gyric. I asked Good idea. Gyric's mind for information. He is another matter. Man's tried to kill he humanity, dude. Magneto's Multiple times. Were sincere. That's today. This hour, this minute. My intentions here were not to cause drama. Don't touch me. Discord. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't to harass me. This. Like Maybe long hair, Magneto. Long. Yeah, he looks really cool. After all our tete -tete. So we're not scanning his mind. Yeah, I guess she. Area of the moon. It's I like, all right, we're, like if, if we're get, I don't necessarily trust Magneto, but I trust Charles. But there was Scott. Yeah. Fighting by my side. Thank you, Storm. That's something I haven't thought about. It's like just ever since I was in Gyrick's mind, you're mutant, you have kids. I this feeling that something terrible is coming. Like you think about all the shit that you went Boy, through. I like yeah. I feared you would do your best 
to avoid being alone with me, Rogue. What? Did they? Huh? Do you think your team would still trust you if they knew? Excuse me? That was a long time ago, Eric. And that cat's got to stay in its bag. How old are they? How old is she? That's a great question. Hmm. But Potential I don't think Magneto is jail -based. like super old either. Though. Ready <laughs> yourselves, my X-Men. We don't lose our cool when the good guys show up. Ooh. Hey, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> you were saying? It's her. Hey, we were just cool, lady. The Calm senator. down. Yeah. Here for Magneto. Be smirking. <laughs> oh, but your <laughs> your helicopters aren't. <laughs> uh oh. You dumb dumbs. Oh shit. Oh. Uh, this is where the rubber meets the road. I should have thought twice. Should I, do. I successfully vindicate myself in what I will generously assume is a fair trial? I really like Magneto I right now. Trust. That is how it's kind of badass. Works. Yeah. Then I'll play by your human rules. But he loses in a fair trial. He tried to kill millions. I yield. Oh shit. You don't win this! Oh, they put the suppression collar on him. These acts prove Magneto's guilt beyond any doubt. He didn't tell me. A lot of Ooh. that going around lately. Hmm. A lot of that going around. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it back up. <laughs> I'm watching something here. People will look back on today and say it was the beginning. Oh, there's a the shitty van. What's yeah. that there for? Oh, it's that guy. I feel like that's a pretty big oversight. Oh, cool mask, dude. Yeah. Stir the pot, boys, and keep them distracted. I'll only have one shot. The defendants oh, shit. You try to assassinate Magneto? That's what it sounds like. Logan. Uh-oh. He's, he's here. No, it's baby time. Oh. Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled out the damn claws, dude. God. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a Jeep? <laughs> oh. Move it, nerds. Hang tight, Jenny. Almost there. Yeah, maybe not great to Almost use your powers. There. Oh, no. Yeah, what happens when a telepath, like, loses control? Bad things. He just ripped the roof off the jeep. Go, Beret Squad. Yeah. Oh, he can't. just got smacked in the back. And B's got shot in the face. They're down. Ooh. Oh, he's been collared. Damn, he couldn't absorb that, huh? A gambit's pipe? Uh... Oh, oh shit! Know what I hate about your kind? I hate your whining just as much as I hate you. Okay, cool, cool man. Whoa. Oh, more. Wow, she, he is. He knows them all, huh? Yeah. Got him like Pokemon. Gee, you're in pain. Circumstances do not offer us a choice. He can hear all that too, right? I would assume so. Door. I want those in the lobby to assist the other X-Men. You, uncaller Magneto. You I don't think it's any surprise that to him that they don't trust him. Be silent. Heed my commands, and you shall survive. Tell him. <laughs> give him the forecast, Storm. <laughs> you people can lose control of your powers. You all need to. Sorry, sugar. No. Oh! Got doctor powers. She's got her PhD now. Lady to a room. Stat. I'm a dumbass doctor. I thought they take a medical oath to be like they have to do do that do, stuff no matter what. Well, it's like do no harm. Yeah, but he just he's doing harm by not by refusing yeah, that, right? I, I don't know. What is it, Hi Hippocratic oath? Is that what it's called? Yeah, the Hippocratic oath. Yeah. Oh, what are you gonna do, Magneto? Against the protesters. Yeah. Throw the chair at him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's crafting a. Oh. oh. Holy swords of justice! Oh, that's sick. Yeah. 
Oh, they tag team move. Uh, somebody taunt, cast taunt. <laughs> That was his one shot. Hell, did it pierce her? It looked like it pierced her. She it had did. a mark on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Bring him in. Dude! Yeah, upside down. Just kill him. Just kill that guy. Right. Specifically. Dude, I mean, at this point, you're just a regular dude and you're that high up. You got... Yes, you're done. You're done. We got throw them in space. Just get <laughs> off my planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he tried. He's dude's yeah. actually trying, and he's he's pissed. The oxygen's looking pretty thin up there, huh? Bigot. Oh, ingrate, sycophant, worm. <sighs> so small, I could smite you with a step. I am trying to be better. <laughs> but this <Please>. guy. <laughs> Fuck him. Do not make me let you down. We will begin talks to admit the mutant nation of Genosha into the United Nations. Poison? <laughs> Dark roast. Same thing. I really like Magneto now. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I feel like so far they've played him, like, perfectly. Inhibitor yes. Inhibitor collars use radiation to temporarily neutralize our mutant power. Scott and I aren't going anywhere. Okay? Magneto's an Omega level too, right? Yeah. So that's one Omega down. She did say that she was curious. Oh, you, you hear that? As to be a human. She got that tinnitus going on. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else matters. And I'll tell you, as somebody with that, I don't wish it on anybody. Yeah, there's a hole in the front, but it didn't blow through her. It's like it burned through or something. Oh, she's scared of the storm now. Did you see that? Yeah. This is the fall of storm. She can't feel it. To Jean. Jean, my <laughs> sister. You oh, she's leaving. The X-Men know the heartbreak of saying goodbye. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's so really not a times, so place for her here, necessarily. Understand why I future is she could have. She could have stayed around and helped. Even her guidance alone is good. Earned. It is human nature to create You coward storm. As a field what are you doing? Oh, it's getting weird again. Fight. How old are you two? Is this okay? <laughs> is this fine? Is fragile treasure. One yeah. we Hell yeah. Sacrifice okay. So much okay. To maintain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Turn into saber too. Only to then Let's fight. sometimes watch it break in a blink that changes your life. Forever. Oh, poor Gambit was into her, but yeah. she's into Magneto. She can touch him for some reason. Everybody's breaking apart. No longer... and now we Look at this lady's haircut. Everybody recognizes her? Worlds. I guess so. I assume so. X-Men are kind of like celebrities. That That's a unique haircut. What we shared as X -Men. Storm will spend a day schlepping it with the basic folk and come right home happy as a... That's Sonic. His voice? Hey, yeah. No. Is that Ben Schwartz? <laughs> what? Whoa. Jean? I need the X-Men. Uh, Jean. Spider Man meme. <laughs> huh. Oh. So we've added a Magneto, and then we've just subtracted a Storm. We're yeah. making big moves every episode right now. Dude. Uh. Wow. So. Lots of things happened there. I'm trying to kind of wrap my head around it a little bit. So you I, had, yep, yep. I thought bare minimum, ma bare minimum, Magneto was going to uh, squash Assassin Man. Is it his nature to get get heavy like revenge and stuff? That's what he's always done. This the, I don't know, I don't know much about X Men again, but every time I've ever seen Magneto, it has never been this. Right. Yeah, it's never been restraint. Yeah, exactly. It's been like, I trusted your kind, and you failed me. And then again, I trusted your kind, and you failed. Like, like that, like, five times. And it just happened a sixth time. I don't know how many times this happened total, but you, you get the idea. But he he held back. 
for his friend. Yeah, and I mean, even when he carried the like the UN Council all the way up there, you, like he was like crying. Like, I don't know if that was a, a a tear for like, I don't know what that tear was for. Like, is it for the like the realization that no matter how good you are or what you get, like you you stick to the letter of the law. They they said it earlier. What was it? Uh, like you play by the rules and still they come for you. You know, like doesn't really matter. I don't really know what it was for because like. At that point, I thought I was crying because, like, I really, he's, I was thinking, I really, 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 really want to believe in Xavier's dream, but it is crystal clear that it just can't happen because of things like this. But then still, he's like, I'm going to try still. So I don't, I don't really know. Yeah. I mean, I guess that speaks to, like, the friendship that they had, Mm -hmm. like, how deep that actually went, like, regardless of everything that, that happened, you know, in their battles and everything like that. But, you know, they they definitely did a good job of driving home. Like, like it's not easy to be a mutant, e- even so much so. Like at the in the earlier part of the episode, um, when Gene and Storm were talking, and Storm was like, you know, sometimes I've wondered what it would be like to be a human. Like, oh, that was the what's the term when foreshadowing? Like, yeah, that's what that was just foreshadowing. Is what that big was big foreshadowing there. Now you get to figure it out, and she and me. That's kind of a bitch move on her end, honestly. Um, I don't have my powers anymore. Okay, bye. I can't stay here, even though we've been friends forever, and I've been helping you, talking to you, and guiding everyone, and all this extra leadership, non-power stuff. But now I have no powers. Suddenly, I gotta go. Right. Yeah. I mean, in my like initially, I was like, well, you know, if you can no longer be like an X-Man, but like they have a whole school there, and she's has this whole reputation. So it was interesting to see her leave. But I guess at the same time, like when you lose something that's that big a part of you, you almost feel like. Like, I can understand, like, feeling like you just don't belong. I ex- mm, I but, still expected more of her. If, yeah. someone, if you were in that environment and you've been in it forever and suddenly you're not, that's still experience that could be shared with, with new folks, yeah. with new people, with new students, with whoever. That's like, I, I don't know. I, I thought her more strong-willed than yeah. the just, okay, I got to figure myself out. Yeah. I thought. I mm. mean, even if you're there to act as, a, as an ambassador, as a human, like, no mutant powers ambassador between mutants and humans. You know, like, hey, I used to be one. Could have been better. Shame on you, Storm. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm gonna see guess. what you do in episode three because you ain't gone yet at yeah. some point. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll see more of Storm. Um, and then there was definitely more of Gene uh, than I expected there to be. Oh, it's two genes. Two, precisely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, which definitely left us on the cliffhanger there, so I don't know what's really going on with that. Like, how's there two genes? That future past shit again. See what's going on? Now there's two genes because she's from the other timeline or some shit. And it's, just, it's, it's X-Men stuff. This is how all the movies go. Now it's happening in the, the oh cartoon. Gosh. The alloy armored executioner guy. Like, he, did, he had that gun. He looked awesome. He did look cool. I mean, he didn't look cool at, by the end of it. He was pissing his pants. Yes, he was. He had the but, bulging eyes and stuff. Like, how did he... I guess they just figured out how to do a single shot of that radiation and like that was it in one of the movies that, that was like the whole premise they found a mutant whose power was like negating other mutants power so maybe that maybe they've got somebody and they're like sucking his juices and distilling it to make high powered weaponry there might we might find that in like episode nine or ten or something i mean that's kind of like what rogue does like she absorbs powers i don't know yeah, i didn't know that i thought she just had like an, a heavily poisonous touch like you hold on to her it starts killing you i didn't know she could take your stuff she took doctor powers yeah she could just do that she got a degree so just she like that so she takes all right not not memeing so she doesn't necessarily take powers she takes knowledge is that because that was because you don't get doctor powers you simply learn and can do yeah i mean i guess maybe she just absorbs like this is us not knowing lore again. Yeah, I'm sure everyone who's watching uh, yeah, this knows you know that already. The specifics of this that would be great knowledge to have. Um, probably everyone already probably knows. I don't, we don't know. Yeah, man. we're new here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. I, overall, I thought that was a, uh, another solid episode. I I definitely had more like oh shit moments from the first episode. Yes, very much so. Because they, they got it's no more introductions. Here's everybody again. And here's the moment. It's more like here's right. some story. Magneto's here. He's given himself up. I mean, you, yeah, you just saw. Well, you, you were there. You were totally there. You know what I'm I was, talking about. Yeah, we were all here. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens in the next one. So um, thank you all again for watching. Like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to support the channel. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye.